And my husband came home that night and he said, you are the only person on the face of this planet that would actually get an interview about not knowing what NFTs are. <laughs> One day we were driving, my husband and I, and I said, hey, um, I just read this article about this guy named Beeple. And, uh, you know, yes. he said, yeah, but that's not something that most people can do. Besides, don't do it, Marianne. Don't do it. Because you don't know anything about NFTs. You know nothing, literally nothing. Well, he was right. I knew nothing. So I tweeted to my followers. I still had a lot of followers back then. They were mainly political, um, like I'm a flaming liberal. So <laughs> um, they were, uh, they, they didn't follow that, but they did follow my regular paintings, you know, so they had an, a foot in on art. I told them all, I'm, um, I'm going to stop doing painting for a while and I'm going to do NFTs and uh, yeah, I've decided I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go all in. So that's why I'm announcing to all of you today. I'm not going to be doing these things anymore. My husband was appalled and that's my cat. Okay. <laughs> my husband uh, was appalled. He was appalled and he said, you've committed career suicide. The next day I got a call from Bloomberg Magazine. Okay. And they interviewed me <laughs> because I knew nothing about NFTs and I was willing to give everything up to go and try it. And my husband came home that night and he said, you are the only person on the face of this planet that would actually get an interview about not knowing what NFTs are. <laughs> like, who, who would do that? And he's like, and now everyone's gonna associate you with NFTs. And um, yeah, but <laughs> I felt like that was um, that was meant to be, you know, okay. kind of like a, a universal pat on the back. Like, am I going the right way? Yeah.